What's up BJJ fans? Of course the BJJ stands for Pine Judo Journey. I'm Miles and this is Kirsten. We're both on the Visually Impaired Squad for Great Britain. More importantly, we are heading to Astana, Kazakhstan in two weeks time for the first Paralympic competition of this cycle. Hashtag LA starts now. I will be fighting 70 kilos, the lightest I have ever been. Uh, it's going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. It will be worth it with regard that smash, okay? We are at the London Visually Impaired Open. We're here for the last competition to do before Asana, and we are going to try and take back some hardware. Just as that prep, that training before we go out into a real international high level competition, okay? So I was in a round robin of three people. My first fight was against one I've never met before. It's a brown belt. Let's take a look at it. Okay. First fight, obviously, it's always nice to get your wins done quickly. Managed to throw with Tom and Aggie, uh, that we all know I love, when in doubt, do Tom and Aggie. Uh, my opponent, I was really quite impressed with him. His grips were strong. He was, you know, stood, in, like, stood up right, etc. Um, so, you know, I was quite happy to see him. I spoke to Mark, he's a really good guy. Uh, yeah, Kirsten getting to fight in a, uh, against one other person. She had a best of three, okay? Sadly, there's a bit of a great difference in this fight. Kirsten is a brown belt, she's got points for a black belt. Do your theory. <laughs> I bought her a black belt in Japan. Anyway, set for um, but uh, her opponent is a yellow belt, which has experience. But Kirsten, well, let's take a look at your fight. Yeah, and hold down is on now. Hold it, Kirsten. Yeah, there you go. Nice, Kirsten. So first fight, obviously, Kirsten managed to throw from Zari, and then transitioned into that hold down. Really effective for Kirsten. I don't think she could have done anything better. Uh, so that's one fight down for you. You're doing a best of three. My second fight, someone who. <laughs> I have uh, fought before, a couple years ago. Fought him at the British Championships. I did beat him, but I made a bit of a meal of it. It was my first time fighting at 73 kilos. It was actually quite uh, a fight because I took it all the way to time. So I've been a bit worried about this fight. Just before we watch this, guys, I do just want to ask if you can subscribe, like, comment. It would be amazing for the channel. Help spread visually impaired judo across the world, across the country, get more people into it, make it super mainstream. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, do that right now. Let's take a look at that second fight, fighting for gold here. Okay, coming away with that win, uh, managed to throw with Mac and Tommy. Throughout the fight I do try and hit some sat sized up, it's really bent over and I'm not able to make that attack work. My drops in on you, he's like not to attack, I'm quite worried about that, so it's like a veteran studio. Then hitting him with this sort of crocodile death roll style of Mac and Tommy. I do Mac and quite difficult to do other people, the probably is a tutorial coming on at some point in the future. I really, uh, I don't like the throw, I don't think it's pretty, I don't just really enjoy doing it. Really effective, just wrapping them around. You get your back on their chest, crocodile death roll for the airport. Let's move on to person's second fight again, best of three. So, taking a look at the second fight. Let's go! Come on, Kirsten! Come on, Kirsten, boss! Sorry for testing. Uh, 
Yeah. Come on, Kirsten. Sorry about it. 